People ask me all the time, hey millennial, which one do you think is best for chickens? The Cornish Cross, the Texas Rangers, or Heritage Breed? I go for the Heritage Breed, and this is why. So in here I have 12 Merriam and Sussex Crosses. Both the Merriam and the Sussex are a dual purpose chicken. So these are great for eggs and they have some good meat qualities as well. I like these breeds for the sheer fact that to me and for me, they're the most sustainable. These chickens are best suited for my climate. They're extremely hardy. They are great foragers and scratchers and you know, overall they do really, really well. And I will tell you one thing, the meat quality and the taste is way better than what you would get from a Cornish cross. Now with that, they do take longer to grow out. They take 16 weeks versus say eight to 10 weeks for a Cornish cross. So they do take significantly longer. You know, at the end, at the end of the day, you got to figure out what your game plan is and what your goal is. For me, it's always been about sustainability. Sure, a Cornish cross or a Texas Ranger will grow out faster and they'll get bigger in a shorter amount of time. But what am I sacrificing to get that, to, to get those qualities, okay? I'm all about sustainability. All these chickens here were incubated and hatched here on my homestead. This is a food source that is renewable and I can continuously get chickens and I'm not dependent on any feed store. I'm not dependent on any food supply chain. I'm not dependent on any of that. So this is a way for me to grow food and grow it very sustainably. These guys are also great foragers. I'm about to take them out of this tractor here in a few days and they are just going to be on the pasture. And you know what? They're not going to require really any more feed inputs from me. They'll get a little bit of feed at night when they go into their you know, into the barn. But other than that, they don't require any other inputs. They are very hardy. They're very acclimated to this environment and they are really, you know, self-sufficient and very independent, you know, so it, for me, it works out perfectly. And since I'm growing food for me and my family, you know, it's very easy to, you know, harvest the roosters, let the hens continue, continue to lay, start the whole process over again with more chicks, you know, and then all the other animals we have on our homestead. It's a really sustainable way for us to feed our family. You see here, I have some ducks and some chicks that I incubated together, which is pretty cool. But like I said, at the end of the day, it's all about what it is that you are trying to accomplish with your chickens really i don't want to be beholden to any feed store or supply chains in order to get you know texas rangers or especially cornish crosses i don't want to depend on that system because that system as we are seeing is very fragile and it's not dependable and i'm getting a lower quality product at least with the dual purpose breeds i am able to know exactly where they came from know exactly what inputs I have to put into them and they're 100% sustainable because they are grown here they are hatched here you know the cycle goes full circle here on the homestead so for me the heritage breed is a no-brainer but everybody's in a different situation everybody's in, in a different place this is just my two cents well I hope you guys have a great day and as always long live the republic